Hey, it's Joanne Muse of the Tax Lean Lady with another investing quick tip for you. And this one is for newbies who don't know anything about tax lien investing and might be wondering if it's worth it. Well, you know, it, it, everybody says that the stock, the stock market is a good place to put your money. And if you just wait 20 years, you're going to make money regardless, right? Well, what if you don't have 20 years to wait? You know, the market just took another downturn last week and uh, the Dow finished, I think on Friday it was down, you know, 300 points or something like that. I really don't pay that much attention to it. I just happened to be uh, somewhere where there was a TV and I, I was listening to the news. Uh, the reason why I don't pay much attention to it is I don't really need to because I invest in something that is not tied to the market. If the market goes down, it doesn't really affect my investments. And I can make these investments either inside or outside of my self-directed IRA. And I, and it's a fairly safe investment. It's much safer than the stock market. And I can still make high returns. I don't have to settle for the 1% or even less than 1% that banks are giving in their money markets or in their CDs now. Um, this past year on one of my investments, I got over 40%, almost 50%. Um, and on uh, another investment that I made, um, making double digit returns, that one's in my self-directed IRA. And in other investments, um, I'm making uh, I'm, I'm making over 10%. Um, I just bought a couple of new liens this year, at one at 17 and one at 18. One was only at 7%, still better than I can get in the bank. And it, and I'm only investing a little money at a time, but if you have a lot of money to invest, you can even buy whole portfolios of secondary tax liens because yes, it's more competitive than it ever was before. There's all these big players in the market, but guess what? They sell off their liens after a while and you can still make pretty good returns on them. As a matter of fact, that investment that I told you about that I made over 40% with, that was on a secondary lien and I did it in 15 months. The great thing about secondary liens is you don't have to wait as long as you do with um, liens that you go to the tax sale and you might have to wait two, three years. Okay, with secondary liens, you can wait half the time. Okay, uh, so uh, to, just to let you know um, what a tax lien is, when you don't pay the taxes on your property, the uh, county, the municipality, whoever you pay your taxes to, they still need their money. So in some states, what they'll do is you, they'll sell those taxes to an investor at an auction. And, and that gives you, the homeowner, more time to come up with the money. But guess what? You have to pay some pretty hefty penalties in order to redeem that lien and pay off your property before it's foreclosed on because what happens is there's a certain period of time known as the redemption period and in every state it's different it can be anywhere from six months to two or three years and that's the amount of time that the property owner has to pay the, that lien off before the lien holder can actually foreclose on the property in order to get paid okay so that's real leverage there for the owner of the property to pay that lien and uh, for the investor to to make uh, good money on that tax lien, to make those double-digit returns or high single-digit returns, still good in today's market.